episode 20. All right. So now that I got y'all teary eyed and fired up. All right. So our first one, again, I don't read these. I don't read my Ask Jay questions. This is, I just texted to myself and now we're going to go in. So from YouTube, Vern Daniel says, I have a friend whose mother has a reverse mortgage. The house is worth 60 K less than what the bank paid for. He wants to buy the house back, but not at the bank's acquisition calls. What should he do? He should negotiate with the bank. And for those of you who don't know, reverse mortgage is when an elder, an older senior citizen, I think it's age is probably 55 or 65, whatever it is, can live off the equity of their house and get a mortgage that they basically take the equity and use that equity to continue to pay. They pay their mortgage off their equity. And that way it can help seniors live a comfortable life off their equity without having to struggle with for a mortgage payment. So if this so if this person's mother has a reverse mortgage but he wants to buy the house back now from the bank that mortgage, he's gonna have to pay that debt off. Like bottom line. He or he's gonna negotiate with the bank, but he doesn't have much of a negotiation um leverage because she got a reverse mortgage. So um but everything's negotiable. So he has to go and negotiate with the bank, long story short, um Vern. Uh from YouTube also, Jack Johnson. And remember, you can ask questions, just hashtag AskJ on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Yep. All right, so YouTube, Jack Johnson says, I'm in college, and the problem is I always feel as if I'm lost. People told me to study something I'm interested in. The problem is I'm not, inter I'm not interested in anything. However, I always work hard to achieve a goal. So my question is, have you ever felt lost when you were above 25? I have, and that... Um, and Jack, that comes into you finding your purpose. So you're looking for subject matters for, say, a career, but your career may lie within your purpose. So you got to find out, like, what are you here for? Who are you here to serve? What's your greater good? What do you got to offer the world? Not what you got to offer Jack, but what do you got to offer the world? And that will spiral you and turn you and weave you into what your career path probably is. And it's going to be somewhere... In service. If you're uninterested, it's because there's no passion there. If there's no passion there, it's because there's no purpose there. All right, Jack? So find your purpose, please. And a good book for you to get is University of Success. I recommend it all the time because it's a great book. So University of Success, Jack, I would recommend you get that and get on your path to finding your purpose. Another YouTube question. Rayshawn Poindexter. If you could go back and have a meeting with a 20-year-old Jay, what, would you adv what advice would you volunteer to him? So the 20 year old Jay was in prison <laughs> and which is not funny, but um, I really would have tried to, what I would have instilled to my 20 year old self is yo, Jay, bro. And what I even, yeah, yeah, I was going by Jay then. Well, people, some people call me Maine and some people call me Jay. So anyway, I would have said Maine, look, um, you got all these talents Bro, you are dope. You are you are smart. You are charismatic. You have, you are a critical thinker. You're passionate. Take these talents off the streets and go over here into real estate. I'd have gotten into real estate five years sooner if I were speaking to my twenty year old self. I'd have steered myself into understanding business ownership, understanding credit, which I learned a couple years after my after twenty. But I basically would have gave myself and steer myself towards all this economic game. And I also would explain to myself the importance of living beyond just for Jay. Because at 20, I was living for me. I was trying to ball out. I was about big cars, pretty girls, jewelry, and a safety deposit box full of money. And I would have told myself that life is way bigger and way greater than that. That's those low goals, those shallow goals. And I would have really tried to inspire myself to tap into a, my larger purpose. Because at 20, I could have been leading in this, this same path, for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, same talent, same guy. So I really told my 20-year-old my self to wake the hell up, is what I would have said. And get off that, you know, Jay-Z, Jeezy, like, dope boy till I die mentality, which I lived for a lot, a lot of years that I, I, I gave to the streets. Um, and then Pam James from Facebook says, or asked, is it okay to like your own pictures on social media? LOL. Ah, uh, why not? I mean, shoot, if it's yours. Um, once in a while, I like some of my pics. I really don't. You know what I'm saying? I think it's just cooler not to. But once in a while, if I think a pic is really like, yeah, this 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 statement is saying something, 
I'll like it. Or I'll wait a couple hours and I'll like it because then it'll go in my feed as a like pick and then people will see that and that might drive a little more traffic. That's my little trick. So, um, Funny question, Pam. And then IG, uh, at, B, at, at E underscore businessman on IG said, I want to take out a short-term loan for the for the full loan for the full about to invest in your JMA. Is that a smooth move? I guess they said for the full tuition. You want to take out a, a, a loan? I would just look at the cost of the loan. I mean, obviously you don't want to, I don't want to drive you guys to, you know, pay interest, but I will say it's damn sure worth it. It's a, I don't care what you got to do, really, because the best investment is going to be in your education and your wealth education and getting it from people that actually care about you. And I know myself and the mentors that I've hired and brought on to the academy for these six new courses, or five new courses, six total courses of uh, our new Jay Morris Academy, which we're teaching wealth building, um, it, the return on your investment is going to be phenomenal because you will be a different person. Your finances will be different. Your mentality will be different. Um, you'll be ready to build wealth. So... Um, you know, as long as that loan is not at a 30%, 20% interest, I mean, you know what I'm saying? But if you can get it done, you want to get the full year, go get the full year. You save, you actually save a couple of dollars getting the full year probably at a loan than paying a monthly tuition because the monthly tuition is a little more over the full year. So, um, but I appreciate you even being that interested in what we have to offer. Um, and I, I can't wait. I'm excited. I'm telling you, that's why I'm so excited. I know what's coming. Y'all don't know what's coming. I know what's coming. And the new JMA is going to be life-changing. It's going to be like J. Morris Academy times... 10 on steroids like it's, it's gonna be dope so uh, I'm just looking forward to it we're gonna change everybody's mind and we are gonna become wealth builders not even gonna change our mind we're gonna change our wealth DNA we're gonna change our DNA we're gonna transform our whole our gene makeup man we're gonna become wealth builders we haven't inherited the wealth gene that the top 10% of wealthy Americans inherited so we gotta recreate that for ourselves that's what we're gonna do in the Jay Morris Academy um, anyway we're done for today five questions ask Jay are complete episode 20 is a wrap Subscribe to the channel, like this video, comment below, share it to somebody, follow me, make sure you're on the email list at jmorrison.net, there's a free webinar on real estate there, hour and 40 minutes of excellence, so go get that free webinar at jmorrison.net, get on our email list and our waiting list for J. Morrison Academy, I see you guys, love you from the bottom of my heart, man, we riding, man, we gotta change the culture, we gotta shift, we are the new role models, man, we are what we've been waiting for, we are the or else. Justice or else, we the or else. For real, for real. So when you ask me what's the or else, it's or else I'm going to turn up and make something happen. So I love y'all. Peace. We out. Episode 20 is done.